Hello there, um, 8.30, 13th of July 2020. Just want to do a quick rant or share my um, frustration and uh, feelings and um, disappointment of the uh, just the mainstream media. Um, I saw a clip on the breakfast TV this morning of Lewis Hamilton, the celebrity idol uh, before before the Grand Prix, I can't remember what, a Styrian Grand Prix or something, holding up a, a placard or wearing a t-shirt and uh, saying that black um, supporting this movement, I'm not sure, I've really only come across this a few times, Black Lives Matter, and I thought, what a biased uh, statement, and um, out of context and completely racist. And I'll, I'll, I'll explain myself, well, all, it's a true saying, Black Lives Matter, of course Black Lives Matter, but all lives matter. And what people don't, what people don't realise are uh, racism or prejudice is uh, common amongst all races. Um, Chinese have prejudice against Chinese. Blacks have prejudice against black people. I personally wouldn't call them black people, but um, that that's what they uh, people refer themselves to as being black. I, I would call them brown-skinned human beings. You know, we're, we're, we're universal sinners. Uh, but all lives matter, and it's just a I just wanted to get my frustration off, off my chest and uh, share a gospel message because all lives are precious and uh, God has died. Jesus Christ has laid down his life while we were all sinners out of the way and he was holy, he was God, he's the word of God, begotten in the flesh from the triune God of the Holy Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob the God of the Christian. Although the Jews rejected Christ and their enemies to the Christian, um, they're not enemies to, to the mercy and outstretched love of uh, their Messiah, Jesus Christ. So, uh, gospel teaches, love God with all your heart and love your, lo love your neighbour as yourself because love uh, desires no ill towards anyone and, it, and it's not against the law it's, uh, so really a good friend of mine said uh, it doesn't matter about all the controversy is it right or is it wrong so my question is to people is standing up for black lives matter right or completely out of completely out of balance you know all lives matter uh, why why hold up this uh, the poor black person? What about the poor white man? Or what about the poor vulnerable elderly? What about all the poor people who have forgotten about in this COVID-19 crisis? It's just complete nonsense. And it, it vexes me, it just winds me up that people can suffer this dribble by the mainstream corporate um, news stirrers, the web spinners. Um, these celebrity script readers, it's disgusting. Anyway, I just want to share the gospel and uh, warn people that um, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and he's angry with the wicked every day for their unbelief. And we're all sinners and lost out of the way. And if you haven't received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Saviour and you've been saved, you've been born again, you don't know God, you don't have a knowledge of God, you don't have a testimony of his love, his peace, his mercy, his finished work, which is, begins in the believer's life as soon as they put their faith and trust in him and appropriate the operation he completed on his cross through his death, burial and resurrection unto life because he's eternal and he's the same today as he is forever and he lives and he intercedes for all, all sinners, he's, he's outstretched. Um, you're looking at a verse, for there is one God, and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, 
who have all men to, to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. He is the truth. I am the way, the truth, and the life. He is the author of creation. He created all things through God the Father. So he is the beginning and the end. He is the first and the last. And he will be testified in due time when he, when, when, he, when he comes to judge. He's going to come back with a sword. And he's going to slay his enemies because he's already triumphed over them because he's God and holy. So that's the gospel message. I'm going to read another scripture. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Repent means to have a change of mind and look to God for your salvation and believe. Believe in Jesus Christ and his, he is the gospel. He's the author of the gospel. He's the word of the living God. He's your living epitome of God's word, heart, mind and will. He's God's son. He was begotten in the flesh and became God's only begotten son. And, and all that believe in him have the through his power can become children of, of Jesus Christ and become children of God, begotten of, 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 of God through Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And uh, you can personally know him. I'll read one more scripture and then I'm going to close. This is uh, Romans 1, uh, 20 and 21. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but become vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. If you don't believe the truth, you'll believe a lie. And if you don't believe the truth, the whole truth, you'll never know the truth. And you'll remain lost and perish in your you'll perish in your sins. And there'll be no forgiveness forever. And you'll burn forever in the lake of fire. And that's why Jesus died to save all men, because he's loving, he's gracious, he's holy, he's pure, he's righteous. His judgments are righteous. He's yes. There, there is no debate, he is, and so there, you, everyone is without excuse, so there won't be any excuse not to know him, and he's not going away, and he won't go away, he sees all things, he knows all things, he's concerned, he, he's lived out his concern, but he's, 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 he's finished, but his um, atonement is still, still, still open to be received, salvation is something that's got to be sought for, and accept it. And the only way you can accept it is through faith. You have to, you have to uh, receive that which he's, which God has dispensed. It's a free gift. And and, and Christ bypassed all religious systems. You could that every man and woman, every one of accountable age, could have a personal relationship, a personal relationship with the living God. That's the most wonderful gift that anyone could be offered and it's free. He, 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 it cost God everything. And he purchased, um, he purchased us and we're sinful. We're like, um, you know, it was, it's, it's like buying a load of scrap metal. You know, what would you do with a load of scrap metal? It's, it, it's pretty much useless. It's good for nothing. And that's what we are. We might, we might have goodness in us, but, uh, the word of God says our righteousness is as filthy rags. You know, none of us are holy and righteous. We're all sinful. We're all created. We've got, we've all got um, in corrupt DNA, and, and, and mankind is corrupt. Can never uh, uncorrupt himself. So you need someone incorruptible to have a change of heart from the inside out, and that, and that can only be received through the power of God through faith. So if you're hearing this, you have the ears to hear. His invitation is uh, is open, and today is the day of salvation. It's now, because if you die in your sins, and nobody, let's face it, nobody knows when they're going to die. And and during these uh, turbulent times, it, you know, you know, you can't take things. It's more apparent you can't take things for granted. You can't take life for granted. You can't take food for granted. You can't take anything for granted. We're at the mercy and grace of God for all things, for our lives, for our breath, for this world, this creation, this world, our lives. 
and they're all, all lives to him, to him are precious. Doesn't mean that because um, the world's bad that God doesn't care. The world's bad because it's an unbelief and it's turned their back. They don't want to know Jesus Christ. He's a cuss word. People hate God. I, the first time in my uh, Christian um, life, I've had somebody that had the courage to come out and say they actually hate God. I've never heard anybody say it. I know people hate God, but I've never heard anybody actually admit it and uh, publicly announce that they hate God. And, and the Word of God is true, and it's faithful, and it can be relied on and count on, counted on. You can trust God. He's faithful. His Word's faithful. So that's my invitation, just to share the wonderful, precious gift I've received, and that's uh, salvation. That's Jesus Christ, my Lord and God. And I'll close in his precious holy name. Amen.